So EDI is Early Detection of Deterioration in the Elderly and it's about um, identifying when someone becomes unwell in an aged care facility, intervening early and, and um, keeping them at home. So specifically what we're trying to solve is, is how do we upskill the staff in aged care facilities so they're best skilled to keep people in the aged care facility and how do we save healthcare dollars as well by you know, treating people in the aged care facility and stopping them from presenting to the emergency departments at hospital. Prescare, which is a residential aged care facility here in Queensland, have developed up what they've called as a subacute program. And what subacute is, is they've identified that their residents in their facilities, um, when they become unwell, they wanted to keep them at home, so to speak, in the facility, rather than transferring them up to the hospital. Because when someone who's elderly gets transferred to the hospital, we find that their length of stay is long in hospital and quite often they may return back to the facility in a worse condition than they presented with in the first instance. And so Prescare then developed up the subacute program which supports staff by providing more equipment, providing extra training so that they can keep the residents at home so they can identify when they're unwell. Our relationship um, began back in 2013 and we've actually been looking at how we can improve the outcomes for residents um, in looking at alternatives to um, transfer to hospital. For Prez Care, success actually means that we are able to meet the choices and preferences of our care recipients and for a lot of them they don't want to go to hospital and if we are able to meet that need, that um, provides a very positive outcome for the care recipient and for Prez Care. Our, the results that we've actually found could actually be of benefit across the aged care industry as a whole. Working with CQ Uni actually gives us a validated evidence of um, the practical applications that we're putting in place. We have reduced hospital length of stays. On an average, they'll stay in hospital three days shorter. And we also found that um, we can prevent 95 admissions um, for every thousand residents that we have identified. And over time, we're, we're finding that we can actually save um, millions of dollars as a result of doing that. We've also found from an industry perspective, it saves healthcare dollars. It saves, it saves acute care dollar because we're not transferring residents and it's taking longer in hospital. The program, the subacute program in the aged care facility only costs 4,500 to implement and we can save millions of dollars over time with this. We're starting to translate the knowledge that we've learned with implementing in within the pres care sector over into the acute care sector with aged care. So we're now working with Queensland Health with early detection of deterioration and implementing some of the strategies that we've identified in the past. So I think that the big difference with what the EDI project is is to a lot of other studies that are around is it's about empowering the staff within the aged care facilities to care for residents in that area. They've identified it's important to keep people at home and they've implemented a strategy to do that. And working in collaboration with us at CQU, we've helped to identify that, yes, it does actually work. We've got the evidence that it does work. And yes, we've got the evidence now that it will save the healthcare dollar. <music>